it should be laid down in all prudently conducted states that if all the streams are not equally wholesome and the supply of wholesome streams is inadequate, the drinking water ought to be separated from the water used for other purposes. This was advice from Aristotle over 2,300 years ago. And the struggle to establish proper water management continues through the ages. In addition to usage from streams and rivers, man has been able to supplement water supplies from ground sources close to the surface with little consequence. As these water resources are used, rainwater naturally replenishes any depleted groundwater. Normal land contours and slopes along with hydrostatic pressures eventually return water back to their sources. As civilization advances and water close to the surface is further used up, man learns to dig deeper wells. Villages and eventually small towns spring up wherever a supply of water can be found. As the need for water grows, drilling technology advances and underground aquifers are discovered and used as new supply. Regrettably, altered land contours and reduced water tables change hydrostatic pressures, collapsing the aquifers. As these water tables compress, aquifers collapse permanently and water capacity becomes lessened forever. Hydrostatic pressures then begin to reverse and sadly, so does the natural water flow. Soon, dirt, salt, and grimy brackish water permeate once pristine wells and aquifers. Wells become undrinkable and new wells must be drilled to provide water to now barren communities. Where is all this expanding water usage headed? Environmental stresses plus any number of natural disasters could easily lead to a local collapse. We must monitor and manage the environment far more wisely. The solution? Simple. Put the water back. Restoring water tables re-establishes the balance of natural slopes and hydrostatic pressures. Mother Nature has a chance to replenish, regain control, and put things back into balance. Better planning for our water resources is a necessity, not an option. As challenging as it may seem, we have the potential to influence the course of all life on Earth for the better. Creativity and new technology must be employed to preserve and sustain our current water resources. Capturing and recycling stormwater runoff contributes to our having an adequate and safe supply of water. This is a concern that affects daily life as it gives peace of mind as well as sustainable economic growth for further development. As demand for water grows, we must make better use of our supply because just securing another source of water will not always be the solution. The more we learn about water today, the greater the chance that we will flourish tomorrow both in prosperity and in quality of life. We can employ water recycling programs to create this realization now. Looking at the world we live in today, mankind has a choice. We can utilize chemical-free wastewater treatment with technologies such as UV disinfection and activated sludge and create a world living in harmony with water. Instead of concrete line channels that limit groundwater saturation, it is important to design naturalized drainage ways that demonstrate how water can flow through all things in a natural way. Groundwater recharge programs help to return water to a more normal balance for further use. The way we treat water, in a sense, is a reflection of how we see ourselves and our future. After all, through water, we are related to all others as one family. If we care to have good health, then certainly we should do our utmost to care for the health of the water around us. Pollute the water and you have death and disease. Respect the water and you have abundant life and good health. <laughs>